Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you uh, how to do uh, trial, how to use trial for collision avoidance. Okay, so uh, here we have, we're out in open sea, we've got four targets. Uh, this target's on our starboard bow, and it looks to me like its CPA is pretty small. Okay, uh, if I set that up to like uh, 50 minutes, okay, let's see if I can get that in there. Oh, well, 50 minutes is too much. Uh, 40 minutes. Okay, 30 minutes. Okay, so I've got a CPA that's very small. As a matter of fact, if I kind of hover over this guy and highlight it, all right, my CPA is point, point 0.8. Okay, about a little somewhere around one nautical mile, um, you know, plus or minus. So uh, let's say you 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 uh, you have some standing orders, and the standing orders are okay. No vessel come. Don't let any vessel come within, let's say, two nautical miles of you. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do if we want to do that is we're going to turn a VRM on for two nautical miles. So what we're going to want to have happen here is we're going to make sure we want to see that nobody's relative motion line, okay, relative vector, uh, uh, goes inside that circle. So right now this vessel is penetrating that. So what we want to do now is we want to pull up trial, okay? So uh, I'm going to go into trial here, all right? And now I'm going to explain some of these features of trial here, okay? Um, so... Um, uh, so this is going to be the, uh, so our vectors are 30 minutes long, but in just a minute when trial comes up, we're going to have another kind of vector, okay, a trial line, and that can be a maximum of 24 minutes, okay? So I can adjust that, the maximum of that is 24. Now the delay is when you're going to execute whatever you're going to do, and we can either change a course or we can change our speed. And we're going to start off by just changing our course. This radius Okay, this radius, uh, this radius is the radius of the, uh, of the turning radius of the vessel. So if you're on a large vessel, uh, you would want to have that programmed in, um, and, um, and you can adjust that based, thing, based on your, uh, your current speed and the handling characteristics of the ship. But if you're on a small vessel, that's going to be a very small number. You could even set it to zero if you're on a, you know, like a, a, a very small tugboat. But um, I would say it would be somewhere between, um, you, know, a, a, you know, 100 feet and uh, uh, half a mile, okay? Maybe even a mile if you're a very big ship. Now, this play, drop, and show, we'll be using that in just a few minutes. Uh, but down here, this is also about uh, information that you can have pre-programmed into the radar about the handling characteristics of your vessel. So as you're loaded, are you in medium load? Are you in ballast, Okay. And that would be stuff that uh, we're not really going to cover, but that should be programmed into your radar when it's installed on your ship. Okay, so right now, uh, according to this, all right, we've got uh, a CPA of 0.4 nautical miles-ish in about 30 minutes, all right? So we are the burden vessel because that is on our starboard bow. So let's go ahead and we're going to start to experiment with the trial. So come down to trial again, all right? Now... Um, let's say uh, we're going to delay uh, about 10 minutes, okay? So we're going to execute a turn in about 10 minutes. By the way, if I click on this, I can execute my turn uh, when um, in 1.6 nautical miles. But we're going to keep it in minutes, okay? And uh, so let's say um, uh, right now our course is 0, 0, 0, all right? So let's say I change my... I, I can experiment with this now. So let's say I change my course to 0, 3, 0, all right? And now, this is what I want to have happen, show. Okay, when I go into show, now what, that, what, what, what it's showing me is it's showing me if my delay is 10 minutes and my turning radius is half a mile, and in 10 minutes I change course to 054, this is what everything is going to look like. So this is, the, this is 10 minutes here, 10 minutes there. Okay, that's the point of MX, that's the delay. And I can see the effect that would have. Looks like to me like that vessel is going to pass just about... Uh, a little bit more than two miles. So I could actually go in here and I could change this and maybe make 0, 050, 0, all right? And now that vector is, the, their uh, trial line is just about, a matter of fact, I bet you I could do about 0, 048 and it would just about touch that two nautical mile, 0, 048. Okay, yeah, okay. So I, if I change my course to about uh, 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 0, 048 in 10 minutes, this is what's going to this is what the uh, the radar is predicting is going to happen for the true motion for all those vessels. Now, what I can do now is this drop, if I click drop, all right? Now what's going to happen is it's going to start to count down. 
By the way, you see down here, when you see this T, it means you're in trial mode, okay? If I wanna get out of trial mode, I just come over here and I click show. And when I click show, I get out of trial mode, okay? When I click on show again, I'm back in trial mode, all right? So this is putting me back in real mode. This is putting me back into trial mode. So now I click drop. And so what's gonna happen now is that this timer, this delay is gonna start to count down and it's counting down to the time that I would make my turn, all right? So if we wait for one minute or so, we should see that turn into nine. Ah, there it is, it went, went to nine right now. And every minute it'll drop down to eight. And what's happening here is that we are actually, uh, so here's, so the, 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 this, this little pink number right here, this nine, that is actually MX when I'm gonna execute my turn. And this vessel is now nibbling down along its relative motion line. And right there is when we execute our turn and you can see that the relative motion line kinks and we see it's out at two miles. Um, let's say I didn't want to change my course though, I wanted to change my speed. So what I would do is I would put my course back to whatever I'm doing. Right now I'm doing zero, 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 so I put this in, okay? And now I can come into set speed, okay? And if I stop all together, I, now I'm not gonna set this in speed in knots, I've got a few presets. So dead slow ahead, okay, slow ahead, uh, half ahead, okay? So full ahead, well, so uh, if I half ahead, uh, the vessel's gonna pass astern of me, I'm gonna cross, cut across its bow, that's not good. Uh, slow ahead, they're gonna, oh, looks like the CPA is gonna be near zero. Dead slow ahead, they'll pass a little bit ahead of me, but in less than two miles, it looks to me like I have to almost stop, okay? According to this, I have to pretty much almost stop in order for that vessel to pass uh, a couple miles ahead. So it doesn't seem to me like slowing down is gonna be very effective. So I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna go back to my course change and uh, let me put back in, what was I, what did I have before? Zero, four, zero. I think it was 048. Okay, so 040, not enough, all right? So I will adjust that again, and maybe make it 0448, and 048, okay, 047. Okay, great, 047 is actually, so my delay is back up to 10. So 047, because I waited longer, it's not quite enough. Uh, 050, uh, okay, it looks to me like I'll probably do about 055. All right, and when I do 055, I'm gonna enter that into my keyboard. 055, there I get just about two nautical miles. So now I click drop again, all right? And that's how that works.